Hey guys, how's it going? DJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to the version 8.30 patch notes. Let's jump into this, because we got a lot to talk about. So, Battle Royale has the van. We're not going to talk about that, even though it looks really, really cool. I do think that something like this could definitely happen for Save the World, but you know what? We're going to have to wait in the future and see. Uh, Buccaneer's Bounty, man, that, that right there, man, that really makes you want to play Battle Royale. <laughs> all right, uh, let's scroll all the way down. We're going to go past creative. Ooh, okay. I, all right. I, I want to know more about that, but man, creative is just, oh my, wow. Wow. Okay. Creative is just rocking it. All right. Save the world. Let's take a look at this. What's new? Bomb Squad Kyle. Bolster your hero's armor with this new legendary construction. This hero is the bomb. Um, wow, man. Okay, so this is interesting. Bomb Squad Kyle. So he's probably going to be, of course, with the armor. But is he going to have some sort of explosive bonus? That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering what kind of explosive bonus this guy is going to have and how we're, I'm going to be able to use it in my current setups. Because as you guys know, I love I love explosive setups. Uh, I am all about that right now. I mean, I have been for a while now, actually. And my explosive constructor setup, the different variations of it, too, has really, really come to be... Uh, it's come to be quite fun. <laughs> so I'm really looking to see what uh, what this one's going to bring. Of course, that won't be until tonight, but we'll talk about more of that in a second. Lost in Transit Beta Storm. Ooh. Don't get lost in transit to this new Beta Storm. Locate the supply trucks and put them back on course. Okay, so my question here is going to be, does this mean that we have... Well, of course... I pretty much think that this means that resupply is gone, but we're going to have to wait and see until we get in there. And you know what? I'm really getting into these beta storms, so I'm definitely going to have to jump on this as soon as it comes out. And we're going to have to take a look at what it is. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Put them back on course. Hmm. Missions and statements. Beta storm lost in transit. We've lost our supply trucks. Oh my goodness. Uh, find them and put them back on course. You have 15 minutes to rescue five trucks and update their GPSs to send them on their way. Some will be surrounded by the enemy, others, others will be under attack or need refueling. Oh. Most of the area is covering the storm and the safe area is on the move. Rescue all the trucks and survive the storm ev until evacuation. Eliminated Collect is now normal mission rotation and no longer a beta storm. Added three new possible bonus objectives. Sniper eliminations, believe eliminations, and trap eliminations. Really? Trap eliminations? That's interesting. I wonder how we're. I wonder how we're going to be able to do traps within uh, within that, huh? Okay. I mean, I'm up for it. Random encounters now start sooner and have less time between them. One uh, once the storm reaches its smallest point, the encounters become much stronger. Increase the requested sample count objectives. Oh, okay. All right. Huh. You know what? Yeah, I I'm. I'm glad to see they didn't change much of it, but they did fine-tune some of the requirements. And if it's going to be a little more difficult, too. Hmm, okay. Bug fixes. Fix an issue that caused the bomb to desync and deliver the bomb missions. We've seen that a lot. Fix an issue that prevent the bomb from being interacted with if a player joined and in progress delivered the bomb mission. Oh, is that what happened that time? Okay. Fix an issue that prevented launch the rocket missions controls from being interacted with if Blue was deposited before race dialogue was complete. Wow. UI. Abilities with charges now display a radio, radio cooldown meter around the ability showing how much time is left before the next charge is ready. Nice. That sounds very, very interactive. Abilities will now display the energy battery icon while unusable due to not having enough energy. Very nice too. I like that too. Bug fixes. Fix an issue where the reward info could no longer be accessed with a gamepad on the Expedition Hero Picker screen. The craft ammo and set minimum value for the slider buttons on the menu on the Summon Defender UI are no longer tied to the same gamepad button. So these are definitely... Okay, that's good. These are gamepad though. Fix an issue that caused the research button to get stuck in place. Hmm. Hmm. 
The choice card packs from the Llama opening sequence will now show the appropriate color for Mythic Heroes. Oh, okay. Uh, fix an issue that costs gameplay objective objects to display a, to a zero damage marker when being destroyed without actually taking damage. Fix an issue that prevented the edit palette from being visible when editing a building piece. Fix an issue with the ambient storm effects turning off while on the mission select map and pop-up menu was active. Fix an issue that prevented the crafting material count from properly updating during the tutorial. The Defender sub-tab UI icons will no longer overlap the other UI elements. The launch button in the player lobby will appear disabled until a mission is ready for players to launch into it. That's good. Um, fix a navigation issue with the gamepad on the loot opening summary screen. Fix an issue that caused players to have the incorrect banner and power level in the lobby and or party manager. That's pretty cool, especially now that I am going up in level. Uh, some of you will probably see my level go up and you're going to see a video very soon of how I did that. Fix an issue that caused the respawn UI to not appear properly if a player goes down, but not out while in the party invite menu. Fix an issue that caused the crafting tab to show incorrect crafting material quantities. Fix an issue that caused the retire option to be displayed on inspected weapons. Fix an issue that caused the perk UI to be displayed when inspecting an unslotted collection book weapon. Fix an issue that was triggering the insufficient XP error while claiming collection book rewards. Fix an issue where the commander here was missing from the command tab screen after returning from a mission. Wow. He's just, he's just gone, man. <laughs> Removed prioritized favorites, collection, but indicator and reset indicator options from the more menu on the resource screen. Okay. Performance. Bug fixes. Fix an issue cost stutter when transitioning between abilities and melee attacks. I've seen that. Hopefully it is fixed. Fix an issue that caused players to hitch when loading into an in-progress mission. Fix an issue that caused players to hitch when entering Rosie. Heroes. Here we go. So this is the heroes. Increased introducing bomb squad kyle a new legendary constructor standard perk is bomb suit increases armor by 22 commander perk bomb suit plus increases armor by 66 three times as much available in the event store on april 10th at 8 p.m eastern reorganized blackbeard's crew page in the collection book okay added bomb squad kyle to the stowaway section of the collection book oh he's a pirate of course he's a pirate of course he's a pirate. We're in the pirate event right now. Um, and that's it. Okay, so he just has the armor. Nothing else, huh? So, you know what? I'm all for it. I said this in the previous video, and I've been talking about this personally for me. I don't really play this game with armor. I don't play, you know, the whole infinite, eternal, or immortal setups. Um... I, I don't mind. I've tried a couple of them. I haven't really made any videos for them or anything because it's not really fun for me. I prefer to, as I said before, I prefer to be in the middle. I'm more of a control. Uh, I'm not looking to do the maximum amount of damage. I'm not looking to be immortal, you know, at the expense of doing damage. I like being in the middle where, you know, I, as long as I'm, you know, quick on my toes and do everything properly, I can survive an encounter and still do a decent amount of match damage. I like that. Um, but yeah, definitely it'll be interesting to see this. Fix an issue we're using Avast Mates as a commander perk. Wasn't being displayed as Avast Mates Plus. Fix an issue when cannonballs fired from Rosie weren't being teleported by a teleporter gadget. Fix an issue that allowed Boom Base to be damaged by anti-material charge and bullrush. Really? Fix an issue that prevented the item details from properly updating when swapping hero loadouts. Fix an issue that prevented commander perks from being added into tooltip calculations. The all stat screen now correctly updates when the tough traps hero perk is removed. Fix the ability description text getting cut off in the hero inspect details panel. Kunai storm eliminations with kunai, kunai elation now correctly contributes towards kunai collection. That's a lot of kunai. <laughs> That's a lot of kunai. Fix an issue where overbearing didn't grant a damage increase and overbearing plus didn't grant additional range. Fix an issue with the tooltip of going coconuts plus displaying the incorrect damage bonus value. Now, before we keep going here, I gotta say this is a lot of changes. I appreciate that. But again, I really do hope that in the future we also get to we also get you know get to know that they're working on these things because a lot of these they're they're necessary and they're important but i mean 
come on there's there's other big ones like for example the pirate ship why is the pirate ship not being talked about maybe it isn't later but we really do need you know certain things like that to be hey we know this issue we're working on it. that's it you know it, it, it would really help out weapons and items double boiler steampunk shotgun fires two slugs with medium accuracy and range but has a reduced ammo capacity and a longer reload time whoa it's got to hit like a it's got to hit like a truck though for reduced ammo capacity and longer reload time it 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 might have a really interesting perk or or passive perk we'll have to take a look at it bug issues fix an issue that caused the teleporter to appear in the victory screen of health by a player added the missing reticle center dot to cannonade and jack's revenge okay fix the bug with the sixth perk of the bundabus and mercury lmg causing them to deal more damage than intended oh oh really okay that's gonna be interesting we're gonna have to take a look at that fix an issue that caused the baron to not provide correct materials when recycled fix an issue that caused sir lancelot's joust to be able to carry mini bosses yeah fix an issue that's awesome that's awesome okay Fix an issue with Sir Lancelot's Jealous with bounce off enemy acid pools. Bounce off. Wow. Fix an issue that allowed Jealous to go through Teddy. <laughs> Fix an issue where the steampunk shrapnel perk failed to deal damage when the primary target was eliminated in the same shot. Oh. Is that why that doesn't really do much damage? Huh. We'll have to take a look at it too. Uh, fix an issue that costs that sometimes costs energy to spike up while using Steam Thrasher's Heavy Attack Maelstrom. Fix an issue where Steam Thrasher's Heavy Attack Maelstrom would not deal enough damage on first and last swing. Fix an issue that caused the level to up, up level up to UI up UI to appear in the crafted broadside trap. Oh. Okay. Fix an issue where the broadside trap cannibals weren't being blocked by a super shield of shield. Fix an issue where the broadside traps cannibals were being blocked by the player. If they were playing a constructor okay so these right here are pretty important especially because you know what i'm gonna have to redo that i have a broadside video that's about to come out i'm gonna redo it because this this is important yeah fix an issue where incorrect perks will be slotted into jack's revenge second and fifth perk slots resources that be refunded place when we had these slots cleared okay fix an issue that caused heavy attacks to not deal damage properly that is okay that one right there is just such a random and wildly that that's kind of weird how do we know <laughs> is that to all has everything not been dealing damage and does it mean too much damage too little damage gameplay added separate control sensitivities for building and editing structures bug fixes fix an issue where players would have no hero abilities when you joining a mission progress of the game was closed before exiting the zone the autumn city zone no longer has missing walls or textures fix an issue that caused a level one pickaxe to be visible during the intro cinematic fix an issue that caused player clients to crash when traveling to the lobby after joining a friend's party that's already in the zone enemies bug fixes fix an issue that caused the storm king's weak point health bars to be visible when they could no longer be damaged about the storm king we're going to be grinding him for evolution materials Audio. Update the audio for MedBot Reviving Player. Bug fixes fix an issue where sound effects were missing when picking up the same item type multiple times. Fix an issue that caused down but not out music to play longer than it should. Fix an issue that caused the end of the audio day audio loop to be stuck on as the player score increases. Ah, wow. That one's been around for a while. Fix an issue where Ninja Jump sound effects will not probably play from other players' perspective. Reduce volume of ambient jungle music in the Pirate Cove. General accessibility xbox epic account linking starting on april 11th once you link your xbox account and epic id together you'll be unable to link a different account to that console you can unlink your accounts at any time but you won't be able to link a new account to that device important to remember social need a break but want to stay in contact try the sit out feature available now in uh, battle royale and coming soon to save the world use the menu at the top of the social panel to change your participation to sitting out to stay in the party with hold, holding up ready checks or affecting game mode selection. For example, with three players in the party and one sitting out, the remaining two can select and queue for a duo's match. How is that going to work for Save the World, though? It's like you're just holding a spot? Or are they going to be changing how we're going to be playing Save the World with, with our squad and everything? Huh. 
team members in Battle Royale and Save the World now have items indicating which outfit they're wearing in the social panel and voice chat indicators. These icons will likely be added to more places in the HUD. Added voice in the indicator widgets to more clearly count out party members that are speaking. Added setting to control whether or not you can automatically switch to the game voice channel when the match starts. Reduce size and frequency of friend information updates when the social panel is hidden. Should improve performance for people with large number of players on their friend list. Wow, this is interesting. Bug fixes. Fix an issue that could cause the Add Friends dialog on consoles to appear in the schedule even after the user had previously clicked Add. Fix an issue that would... Okay, so that's good. Fix an issue that would cause the player to remove from Battle Royale match when kicked from the party gameplay. Um, not really going to talk about this because this is pretty much just Battle Royale. UI, reporting, performance. Windows client now supports the RHI thread, which improves ability ability for CPU rendering work to happen in parallel and improve performance consistency in heavier scenes. Rending CPU imp improvements for all platforms. Wow. Xbox One patching. Okay, so that's from the Unreal Engine 4.22. With the new rendering features. Oh, maybe the new extraction destruction engine. Xbox, will, Xbox One patching improvements to reduce download size while ensuring good I.O. performance. Bug fixes. Fix some texture streaming related hitches on Xbox One. And finally, the Trello board. If we have issues or you want to check on them, you can definitely go for it. So there we go. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, Man. This is a big one. This is interesting. Don't forget, guys, both the hero and the weapon will not be available until... 8 p.m. Eastern tonight, so 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. ET. If you guys are waiting for that, those won't be available till then. Not exactly sure when the new beta storm will be available. We'll have to check in as soon as the game comes out, but I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be a live video uh, or a, you know, 8.3 review video. First look, taking a look at what's going on and what's going to happen. And of course, later tonight, I will be doing a weekly reset video where we'll be taking a look at both the new constructor and the new weapon. I'll probably buy them right away so we can take a look at them. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. You guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.